everybody, this is Night Owl Fibers, a video podcast. This is my mom, Brenda. This is my daughter, Rachel. And today is Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday the 13th <laughs> of, of January, January 2022. It's episode 77. Mm-hmm. Welcome to all new and returning viewers. If you're new, welcome. Um, we're so glad that you came to check us out. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for sticking with us. We know it's yeah. been about a month since we podcast. Yeah. Um, so thank you for coming back. Um, hit the bell notification for whenever we do podcast. Hit the mm-hmm. thumbs up. Give us a like. We really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And we're so glad that you're here with us today. Definitely. Uh, comment below with any questions about what we are going to be talking about today. It's going to be kind of a laid back episode. And... Yeah. This one is just being a big moot. She's a ham. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> this is Abby for all of you who are new. It's Rachel's yeah. toy poodle. Yeah, so she might not look much like a toy poodle because she needs a haircut. Yes, you She's do. She's a hot mess. Um, <laughs> so we hope everybody had a great first beginning of the year and that you're just getting settled into saying 2022 because that takes me a moment to get yeah. used to the hat. Um, and that crafting's going well for you. Yeah, seems like mm-hmm. January just drags on forever. Does anyone else feel like that? Yeah. To me, it just drags on forever. For me, it's the hardest to get into a routine. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. the holidays throw off the routine and then to get back into a routine, yeah. it just it takes a little bit. Definitely, I wonder what day of the week is it now? Uh, I've got uh, that figured out, but it's just, what do I need to do? Yeah. That seems to be the question of the day, yeah. every day. Yep. So, like Rachel said, we are a crafting um, channel. We talk about crochet, knitting, embroidery, quilting, sewing. Mm-hmm. Um, today, I think we just have knitting. Yeah, and that's primarily what I craft on, is knitting. Yes. But yeah. I do want to get into a little bit of sewing this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we usually have three segments, all stitched together, which is our finished projects, mm-hmm. stitch by stitch, which is our works in progress, and then owl post, which is things that have come in the mail or gifts or new acquisitions. So yep. grab something tasty to drink, something to craft upon, and we'll get started. Okay. Uh, all stitched together. I have finished my 12th pair of friend socks, which was Rachel's one of Rachel's clubs last year. Mm-hmm. I was where this stitch marker is last time that we podcast. Yep, and this was a friend's TV show inspired colorway called New Year's Dance Off, and I really enjoyed dyeing it. Uh, I have two. Yep. You so can. I have a box. Um, that has all my socks in it from the Friends Club. With all the ends woven in. With all the ends, yes, definitely. It finished, finished. Uh-huh, yeah. If you can so, hear Abby, I'm sorry. She makes some noise when... Abby, what are you doing? Silly girl. Yeah. Um, I will show the box next time, but this is the 12th pair, so. Mm-hmm. I did most of them, I did all of them top down. Uh, probably 15 rows of regular knitting. Then I do a slip stitch heel, pick up my gusset, uh, heel turn, pick up my gusset stitches, and I usually finish my socks off with Kate Jones's umbrella toe. I just love the way that it fits. And I knit all my socks for myself on US 1's 2.25. And I believe I knit these on a chow goo needle. Which I'm discovering I really like the Chow Goos. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah. I just, I love that cord. It doesn't get in my way. Needles are just perfect. So, um, yeah, that was a 12th pair of shorty socks. What do you have done, Rachel? Mm. Oh, and there's Kirby. I know, she was going to nudge the tripod, so we had to move her. I finished my Ginsan sweater. Um, it was from the book Moon and Turtle, which I will put a picture of it on the screen. I really enjoyed working from it. I worked on the final cuff last time. I showed it. I believe I had 
one sleeve done, I just had the second cuff to go. The collar band, and then the ribbing bit down here. Is your collar band double knitting? It is. I was okay. going to talk about that. Sorry. So the dogs are just kind of all over the place today. Yeah. So I have double knitting on the wristband, so you can see the inside of it does not have that stripe of color transitions. And one thing that didn't work out that great was the seam. You can see how it kind of looks messy where the beginning and end of round was. But for my first time double knitting, I think it turned out really well. I did a tubular bind off on all of the double knitting portions. So my neck band here was double knitting and it ended right here about where the ribs are, where my ribs hit. And then I did one by one rib, finished with another tubular bind off. But this one got stretched out with blocking because the ends wanted to curl up, so I had to really stretch that out. So it doesn't look as tidy as I'd like on the ribbed portion, but I'm happy I did it. Um, it was a long tail I had to cut to do a, I believe it. to graft essentially Kitchener the whole length of the, the collar band, the, collar band, the mm -hmm. cuffs, everything. It was a lot of it's, managing the tails, but I'm glad I did. It's worth it because it just yeah. looks beautiful. It was, it's so professional. Yeah, it was a new technique that I got to do with the double knitting, the tubular bind off I have done before, mm -hmm. but I have not done it often, so. We should get a picture of you wearing it the yeah. full length so you can pop it in and they can see what it yeah. looks like because that's that really be hard good. to see with the dogs in the way. It is, yeah. Um, I used a worsted weight yarn, even though the pattern called for an Aran weight. Mm -hmm. I gauge swatched to make sure that it would be comparable for size and the finished garment. And then instead of doing the large amount of ease that the pattern recommended, I went with the smallest size so that it would be a little more fitted on me. It's still nice and, yeah. and cozy on you. It is, it's yeah. It's not oversized, but it's not fitted fitted. It's just a nice... A comfortable. Yeah, a nice look on you. Yep. Okay. And that is about all I have for this sweater. Cardigan? That's a cardigan. Cardigan, yeah. Anyway, what are you working on? Okay, the last thing I have is my, I was right here last time, I think the, I was on the second sock. I can't remember. Um, these are my Dead Marshes socks, and as you can see, I have all those little stitch markers on there. It's a beautiful yarn by Holly Press Fibers. Yes, and she was so sweet, and thank you and gifted it to Rachel and I, so we split it into 50 grams, mm -hmm. and I had just the tiniest little nugget of this darker, purple plummy cum, plum colored left. Um, these have not been wet blocked, but I did 15 rounds of ribbing, and then mm -hmm. I did 10 rows, 10 rows of the Dead Marshes, three rows of the I'm purple call plum. plum, ten more rows of the dead marshes, three rows of the orange, and then I did. Let's see, 10, 20, 30 war, thirty rows before I began my heel. And this heel I did. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, you can. It focused. Um, I did an eye of partridge, and I absolutely love the eye of partridge. Um. You can see I have very little ladders on my gusset, gusset. which I've really been trying to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that because this is not a uh, slip one, knit one, the heel has more structure. The heel has more structure and it comes around your foot a little bit instead of being more squish, um, like ribbing. Mm -hmm. And I think that really helped with the, the ladder on the gusset. And then I finished off with, um, let's see, 85 rows for the foot from the top of the... When you joined in the when round. When joined in the round. And then I finished off with a 
Umbrella Toe. Umbrella Toe. And I was playing Yarn Chicken. And I lost. Mm -hmm. So I had to borrow just a teeny tiny bit from Rachel's one skein. The outside of one of the cakes. The outside of one of the cakes to be able to do the last three rows of my toe and, and my like Kitchener. The and they're rows. They are the tiniest, but I had this much left of so my 50 grams. Two and a half inches. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the tail you need to weave in. Is, yeah, exactly. So I uh, I was like, well, I could cut it short by, you know, one of the decrease rounds or one of the rounds. Just, you know. It would not have fit I, right, though. No. So I thought, no. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose at Yarn Chicken, but mm -hmm. I absolutely am in love with these socks. And Rachel gifted me uh, one of her club, Holly Press clubs from the last quarter of 2021 yeah. for part Christmas. Part of a Christmas gift. It was part of my Christmas gift, and oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am trying to decide which one I want to cast on first. Yeah. So, but you'll definitely I, have some pretty socks on the. Girls. I absolutely yes, I will, and I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna do just play around with some texture. Yeah. Um, and see if I can put a texture with some of her lovely yarn. Yeah. So yeah, that is my last finished object. Um, but I'm really happy and proud of the projects that we finished because mm -hmm. it's so rewarding to be able to put a sock on or put a sweater on and feel like I knit every single stitch of this. Yes, yes. I have to, um, my knitting journal got chewed on. It's not focusing, but it's you get the idea of it, it. It got chewed on. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I have started a new one for 2022, but I wanted to go over what I completed in 2021. Okay. I made 19 pairs of socks, three dishcloths, this is all the knitting stuff. I knit one cowl, one top, two hats, and one toy. And then for crochet, I crocheted around two flannel baby blankets. And new techniques that I learned this year, Rachel talked about she did double knitting. Yep. Um, I learned how to do two at a time socks, toe up. I really did enjoy that. Yeah. That was that was nice. Um, I designed two patterns and published one. They were the planting seeds socks. Yep. And then I did my very first pair of monster socks for Halloween with Cherry Pie mm -hmm. Cottage um, Halloween Advent that we split. Mine's in the two weave in pile. <laughs> so. I'll get tackled soon. Mine are all woven in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I was thinking about new techniques that I want to learn this year. And one of those things is color work socks. I've done a color work cardigan. Yeah, you have. Uh, did I finish? You finished um, sweaters? Yeah. You also finished your um, Duroko. Dreco. Dreco. So I finished a cardigan also yeah. this year. Yay. Yeah. So I feel good about everything that I did. Mm -hmm. But I have not made... Usually I sit down and I write goals, knitting goals for the new year, mm -hmm. what I want to accomplish. And I didn't do that this year. I thought you hadn't really done that last year. I did it last okay, year. you did. Yeah, I did it last year, but they were very simplified. It was like, enjoy every project, don't feel pressure to knit. Yeah. Um, and you started the Rainbow Sock Chronicles, but... I didn't finish it. Yeah. I didn't finish I that. I trying to put patterns on every single one of the pairs, kind of. Yeah. And not feeling like your colors really fit. Mm -hmm. Well, then I started kind of working with designing some sock patterns of my own, mm -hmm. and that kind of just... Stalled. Stalled. Um, and then I just never picked it back up again, because yeah. life got busy, and life changed, and... and yeah. <clears throat> life happens. Yeah, but so, overall, an enjoyable knitting year for you? It was a very enjoyable knitting year for me. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, I got to learn the double knitting. That was a new technique. I got to work a rounded toe, toe up, which was new, which is mm -hmm. the 
umbrella toe pattern, but she does it for cuff down or toe up. So mm -hmm. I learned that direction of that. Yep. And that's kind of the toe I've been working on. So my sock knitting evolved slightly along with increasing my stitch count. Plus you learned how to do the OMG heel. I did, that's right. Which yeah. is a sh mini short row gusset heel, something like that. One needle mock heel. Yeah. Something like that. One needle mock um, gusset, something like that. Yeah. Ugh. So little techniques here and there that fit yeah. into kind of a framework of things I already knit. Mm -hmm. um, I did learn a technique with a sweater that I'm going to be frogging. Don't normally frog sweaters, but it is the... I forgot the name of it, so let me look that up. It's Summer Trellis. It's this one. Um, Oops, Which did the I drop sizing? Something? Yeah, you I did. did. I'm so sorry. It's all right. The sizing's just not working, and I'm just gonna repurpose the yarn because I've lost almost 20 pounds. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is not gonna fit. Out of the 300 grams we had, I have these caked up that I yeah. just started to helixel knit with mm -hmm. it, and I don't it's, know where this one goes. It's fine. I'm it's sorry. a slip stitch pattern that makes the lattice shape. So, that was. One thing that'll go to the frog pond. Yeah. So yarn will be repurposed. That was probably the biggest disappointment for my crafting year mm -hmm. would be that sweater. Mm -hmm. Um It's nothing with the yeah. yarn or the pattern, it's just the sizing for and me. My enjoyment of it. I wasn't okay. enjoying it. Okay. So I mean Yeah, sometimes we don't enjoy things and we just need to frog them and, and yeah move on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but I did a lot of socks this year. You did? I got to do cables on socks, which I had not done in a very long time. Mm -hmm. That was Those a lot of fun. so pretty. I'd like to do a few more things with cables, but I always have trouble putting cables on garments because they get, the garment gets very heavy mm. and the it gauge, does. the gauge is hard for me to keep straight. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe that'll be something to play with. Yeah. And, because remember the nor'easterly I did a year or two ago? Yes. And it, it did not work out. <laughs> Was that um, the one with the saddle shoulders? Yes. Yeah. So I would say that this year the new techniques I tried succeeded, whereas in past years sometimes there would be little hiccups with it. That That's I, the nice thing about knitting is you just keep practicing yeah. and keep trying, and with that mm -hmm. practice comes experience experience and you get better at it yeah. mm -hmm. and I'd like to take some of those experiences from the past years and try mm -hmm. them again however I would probably never knit saddle shoulders again I don't think they fit my body shape mm -hmm. and I do not like the construction of them yeah so yeah that would be one thing I would not do again yeah um yeah I, I admire the people who put together make nines for gifts mm -hmm. and for their personal knitting yeah I just Life has been so unpredictable that I just feel like if I put that pressure on myself to pick the yarn and the patterns and put it all together, yeah. that I lose steam and then mm -hmm. I feel like a failure. So I'm I'm just going into this new year just enjoying what catches my eye at the moment yeah. and working on that. And something that was catching both of our eyes was color work socks because I have I did one back in high school a long time ago, mm -hmm. and it did not get over my foot. It was all over color work. Yeah. And so I'd like to give color work socks another go, yes. like full yeah. color work yeah. socks. Yeah, and, definitely. And uh, we'll probably do a summer lead designs pattern on mm -hmm. that, because we bought the beginner we did. collection. We did. Mid winter socks set this summer. Yeah. And she has a YouTube tutorial on this. On that specific collection and how she tensions her yarn and it's really cool to watch and tips so yeah, yeah. very knowledgeable that and is one very thing. clear that is one thing that I will definitely yeah be trying this year and a I new like, technique I like that her socks are done in superwash yarn as the sample mm -hmm. because I feel like some of these beautiful Norwegian or Latvian, Latvian socks. socks that I aspire to be able to knit are done in 100% non-superwash. Mm -hmm. I find that my gauge is so large with that type of yarn, like Jameson and Smith, mm -hmm. because I had done a fingerless mitt yes. and my gauge was too big and I didn't mm -hmm. want to go down to triple zeros to get gauge. Yeah. So I like that these are done with superwash sock yarn, which yes. I know I can get that gauge. Mm -hmm. 
to get it to actually be a my normal size mm -hmm. sock. Yeah. I know that I have sweater quantities of yarn. I had planned on doing a beautiful color work sweater, fingering mm -hmm. weight. I don't know if that's going to get done this year or not. We'll see. Yeah. You know, we'll just see what catches my eye and what... You might enjoy other projects. Yeah. I I really admire people who can stick to the, the Mate 9 and... Plan their knitting plan year. Plan their knitting year. I admire that so much. But I think for me, it just puts too much pressure on myself. So, Makes sense. Um, yeah. see what's kind of carried into the new year. Yeah. Okay, I have four things. I have five things. No, four, four things. Four things? Okay. Because I talked about the frogging thing. I Do you have any new cast-ons? I have two new cast-ons. I have no new cast-ons, so let's hear about the new things. Okay. It has been so long since I started a toe-up sock that I actually forgot how to start a toe up sock. It's been yeah. over a year. So I started. This is Rachel's. You're doing a basic square. I did it. Toe. Well, I couldn't remember how many to cast on. So I yeah. cast on eight and I usually cast on 12. So this is um, 24 hour dance marathon. It is the Gilmore Girl colorway that is available until the 15th of January. Yep. And then it mails out January 20th. Yep. So this is how it's knitting up. I love it. Um, I have not decided what color heel I'm going to put in. But you're going to do an afterthought heel? I am going to do an afterthought heel. And I'm going to knit five rounds before I start any decreases okay. to see if that gives me a little more room on the instep. On the instep. Um, so yeah, that's this one. I just thought one night, you know, I haven't done a toe-up heel or toe-up sock in a very long time, mm -hmm. so, no, that's not, I did your dad's toe-up socks two at a time, mm -hmm. so I did do toe-up socks in 2021. Okay. It was just way back when we went to the trunk show in Waco, which was what, April? April. April. So I haven't done one since April, and yeah. I forgot how to do it. Yeah. I prefer Cuff down, heel flap, and gusset. So, yeah, I made the mistake of only casting on eight stitches, so it's a little more pointier than I would have liked. How's it fitting your foot? It fits good. That's good. So, because at Waco, I also did a pair of socks with, I took my total number of stitches and divided by three, and then only cast on one third. One third of, of yeah, which was your a total lot. Number. Which is, a significant amount less than what I normally cast mm -hmm. on for mm -hmm. that kind of toe. And it fit nice. But it just looked weird. It does look a little weird because it's so... If you compare it to a umbrella toe, mm -hmm. you, you come to just four stitches on each needle. Yeah. So... If you're looking for a comparable more, fit. It's a little more rounded than this, but this is... Yeah, I, I think this A simple way to achieve something... Of a similar, similar. yeah. I think it'll be fine. I put yeah. my Luke's coffee cup on here from Little Bitty Delights. Little Bitty Delights. I don't know if you can see it if it'll focus on that. There we go. So, Gilmore Girl colorway. This is the first one I've done. I didn't do any Gilmore Girl last year. I did all the mm -hmm. Friends colorways. Yeah, and then I and I have been so far behind on socks. You offered to I offered to do it for catch her me up because I well, I had offered to knit it for you, and you're like, yeah. no, just knit it. If you're gonna knit it, knit it for yourself. And I'm yeah. like, okay. So um, it is being housed in my Gilmore Girl bag, and this is by Your Affair. Yarn Affair by Shally, and I looked up to see if she's still selling, and I don't think she is, but I love this bag. So that is my first Stitch by Stitch project. Okay. And what do you have, Rach? Do my first one is half finished. Well, over half finished now. Yay! It is the I Small Snow colorway, which was December's Gilmore Girl colorway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that right. <laughs> My brain just doesn't want to work with dates lately. I did an umbrella toe and the OMG heel in the same yarn. And you did your toe up. I did mine toe up, so the stripe repeat got a little 
not in perfect order because I didn't use a contrast. But I actually like this. I like that the colors and the softness of it. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. Very feminine. And so I have a good bit left over. So Me maybe too. next winter if we want to make something else with it. Oh yeah. We'll have the leftovers. Also be cute as like a children's toy or something because oh, it's so it soft. It would. Um, this is my second one. I am going to pull out, I think, my snowman stitch marker, even though it's still winter, January. It is winter. And put it to mark the right side, because right now I just have the tail pulled through to mark the That's right side. That's a smart way to do it, though. If you don't have a yeah. stitch marker handy, just pull the tail through to, to the your right side. Yeah. Um, that's my little cheat when I don't want to dig into Notions tin. Yeah. Uh, so these are going pretty well. I'm doing 60... 64 stitches. 64 stitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 32 and 32 is 64. Um, cool. With those and US2 2.225 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Addy sock rocket needles, which yep. I like. If I'm doing two at a time, I like the red lace chow goo. I don't know why I just pulled the yarn off yeah, of this. Go ahead. I definitely. Okay, I have a Fates thread bag. And this is Rachel's other uh, new club yarn for 2022 yep. is the Big Bang Theory. Yep. And this is the colorway Bazinga. Do you want the soft blocker? Yes, please. Okay. I don't want my bag to fall. I wasn't sure about this one in the hank, but knit up, it is so fun. It is fun. so much fun. And you had a little leftover... Um, mini skein that I did worked out perfect with that color even though it wasn't dyed to match. This is how it's shading up. Mm -hmm. So I put in a contrast blue and I did the slip stitch heel. heel. I did uh, I think 15 rounds of ribbing mm -hmm. and then I did 15 rounds of just plain knitting before I did my... That would bring it up high enough in a tennis shoe. Yes, yes. And I need to do my Toe. Toe decreases, but I have on a cute little, well, I don't know if you little can see metal it. Little stitch marker. Metal stitch marker that says Bazinga on it. Yeah. It goes with the, it matches the colorway name. So I am using yeah. Haya Haya Sharps, and I am not enjoying this cord. But I'm not going to, I'll just use it again for the second one. To keep the tension. To keep the tension the same, and I think I'm just going to have to go through my desk drawer and look for all my chow goos and just put those towards the front for rotation purposes. Yeah. So, yeah. I am really enjoying this colorway. It is so much fun. It's a bright pop of color on the these winter days that are gray and gloomy. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's just dry all right. today. So, yeah, that is being housed in my Fates Thread Big Bang bag, and I did order some stitch markers from two different companies for um, theming purposes. Theming purposes. Those always get hooked up on the yarn that's in there. I think I they need an organza bag or a tin. So this is the other set. It's got a little soft kitty, a microscope, and then the Big Bang symbol. I really I wanted think it's to put like an atomic atom or an yeah. Atom or something. I really wanted to put this one on, but it's just so large. Yeah. So I took the bazinga one from this set and used that used one. that one instead. Maybe I should just put them all in the same little organza bag so it doesn't hook on stuff. Yeah. So that's my second new mm -hmm. cast on. So do you have a set way you're going to do the socks this year? Or are you going to want to do all 12 colors? Or? I, yeah, I'm going to want to do all 12 colorways. Just because. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so back to ribbing or rolled cuffs or whatever I, you feel. Whatever I feel like doing. Yeah. yeah. I did I a couple of the other ones, friends, with... Most of them are rolled cuff, but I did some of them with ribbing. Okay, see, I thought you did all of them rolled cuff. Mm, I think okay. I did one or two with ribbing, Yeah, my friends ones. I just fancied some ribbing that night when I cast on, so that's what I went with. Yep. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Next time I should have at least one of these done. That'll be good. One from each of the new colorways done. Yeah. And okay. then I'll be behind because I'll need to catch I, up. I know. To the new color. But we have a whole month to catch up. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. As long as you don't get distracted with new cast-ons. That's going to be hard because I want to cast know. on a lot of new things yeah. and not finish old things. Okay. Another thing that has been lingering, this was the November Gilmore Girl Chloe <laughs> teacher on my couch. And I think the little owl either got left there and this is two podcasts worth of progress <laughs> or that's one <laughs> podcast worth of progress and I really did awful getting the first one knit. I'm, That's still the first one? Yeah, it's still the first one. I, I am shamed now. I get it. <laughs> it's still the first one. But I'm ready Sorry, for this. Sorry, I didn't mean to shame you. I know. I am ready for the sew and bind off. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I really like this colorway. Mm -hmm. It's um, inspired by the scarf Rory was wearing when there was a blizzard yeah. and when she came home, her yep. teacher was on her couch. Um, but I did want to knit on the I Smell Snow right now because... That one is just calling to you. Calling to me. It's very soft, and this one will just be a fun, colorful splash to do after that. Yeah. So honestly, I could knit a shorty sock if I'm like normal knitting mojo in yeah. two days. You could. A pair. A pi No, one sock in two days. One a sock pair in two in days. Four days. Yeah. Normal knitting mojo has not been there. So it hasn't been for me either. Yeah. I don't know if it's just everything that was going with the, on with the holidays and all the extra church services that we were and like, serving at church on different committees. and Yeah, or I don't think that that really had anything to do with it. I think it was just my mood. Yeah. yeah. We had a good Christmas. We did. But, like, my mood was, I want to do this. I want to cook this. I want to... Yeah. I want, <laughs> instead of, I'm I going to... I want to watch this. I want to read this. I don't yeah. want to knit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm still using my Cherry Pie Cottage Christmas bag and my husband's Christmas sweater is being carried over into the new year. So I was here last time where the little candy cane is. I have the body bound off. Which is a big accomplishment. Because this now, is an extra large sweater. Yeah. Because instead of large circumference knitting, you're going to be moving to small, small circumference, circumference knitting. knitting. And I have... I have some of the sleeves started, and I've never knit a man's sweater, and I just looked at you knitting that sleeve, and I'm like, small circumference, yeah, it doesn't yeah. look too small. Um, he's perfectly fine with it not being done for Christmas. He held it up, made a cheesy smile, and mm -hmm. um, smiled he, for the camera. He smiled for the camera. You know, I, I'm not going to put pressure on myself. I just have not felt like knitting on it, and I don't know if it's that this is 100% non-superwash wool, and it's kind of scratchy, it's and I just don't feel picks, like... It's wool of the Andes, which is a 100% yeah. Peruvian Highland wool, which is scratchy, because I wore... That's what this one's made out of. I wore this for five minutes last night before I thought better of it, with puppy teeth chewing on things. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I put on uh, a sweater made out of Quince & Co. yarn, and there was a big difference in comfort. There is a big difference yeah. in comfort. There I is. En I enjoy wearing this. I can wear yeah. it without a problem, but I get what you mean about yeah. if you have a choice to knit on something softer and you're just in the mood for that, then why that might languish. Yeah. This might languish a while. I'm just, you know, and you can't make this into a short sleeve sweater. Mm -mm. It has to be long sleeves. And something that's that heavy of a worsted weight sweater like that, knit at that gauge, you would it would not be useful without sleeves. And I think that's one of the things that stopped me from working on it was the weight of it. Mm -hmm. The weight of it was really getting... Slogging you down. It was slogging, yeah. My goal was to finish it by Christmas. I didn't, so I set a new goal, which was to finish the body by Christmas. And I met that goal. Yep. So... I think that's something... I will just keep a little bit of Christmas around throughout the year with the bag with the bag and the sweater mm -hmm. and just continue to work on it when I feel like it and I think that that was a really good mindset to have to change the goal or redefine the goal instead mm -hmm. of like all or nothing yeah. win or fail yeah like you're able to work with yourself and life because situations change and your goals can you know develop with the way your life is going yeah. at the time and what you're feeling like working on. Yeah, I'm using the Aurora Heather colorway. Colorway. And I had 11 mm -hmm. balls. I have three full balls left. 
okay. to do the two sleeves, and I am working on... That I should little, be enough, right? I have a little ball right here. It'll be plenty, because okay. um, that's what I used 11 skeins for the, last. for the last one that I did for him. Okay, cool. And I would not have knit this for Christmas for him had he not asked for a sweater for Christmas. Yeah, if we did not say already, it's the Flax by Tin Can Knits. Yes, sorry, I, I forgot to mention that. You might have said it. No, I, I don't think I did. Remember. I don't think I did. I love this bag. Yeah. I love it, y'all. It's so much fun. Plus, I think I've been um, just working on smaller things because mm -hmm. we do have two puppies in the home, and they are teething, and mm -hmm. they like to go after the yarn, so... Yeah. Our Bulga baskets that we keep our knitting in, we can't set those on the floor right now. and We can't leave tissues, a tissue box on the coffee table because one of the dogs will pull the tissues out of the tissue box and go chew it. Yeah. <sighs> so, bags. along the same color theme um, is my... So you're carrying this over. Yes, this is my Featherweight by Hannah Fettig. Mm -hmm. As you guys would probably remember, I finally finished the body <laughs> after working on this since April. April. And I'm going to have to go back. <laughs> Mom's been watching, re-watching the middle. The middle. We, we watched it once and you're kind of just using it as something to fall asleep yeah. to now. Yeah. So, <laughs> middle kind of reference there with the whispering. Yeah. But um, this, I don't even remember what needles because I have... Oh, you have it on your... on clover stitch holders. Mm-hmm. And it's lace weight. So now I have to go back. I know which video to watch to figure out where <laughs> what needles I used, which one I talked about. So I have to do sleeves, which are gonna be three quarter length for spring, which hey, we're gonna be heading into spring. It'll be perfect so for spring. Perfect. And then the neck band, which will be all ribbing one by one and not double knitting, so that will go faster. So you could do it for Easter, mm -hmm. have it done for Easter. This was cast on shortly after Easter, so it'll be ready for this Easter day. That's okay, I still have my play date on the needles, mm -hmm. and it's been on the needles since yeah. last April. Also, which another thing I'm carrying over mm -hmm. into the year, I'm carrying over two sweaters yeah. and two unfinished socks. Yeah, I've got another pair of socks to talk about, and then those are my the extent of my carryover projects. Yeah. Okay, so what are you... I have another new cast on. It is in my By the Bay Yarn Co. or By the Bay Yarn Co. bag. I love this bag. Um, it has nice handles and it is a very generous size. I, it's holding this ginormous Karen Cake in the Gray Owl colorway and I am knitting the uh, it's a leafy baby blanket. We can put it on the screen. I'll have Rachel put it on the screen. But I have started a baby blanket, and this is how it is knitting up. So it's got staggered leaves. How long has it been since you worked a lace pattern? Oh, it's been a really long on time. On a blanket a long time. On a sweater, I think it was your noni, and that was yeah. a very, like, just eyelid -y. Yeah. So this is... I tried making it bigger because the pattern does give you clear directions on how to make it bigger and it didn't work for me. It kept coming out wrong so I thought okay mm -hmm. I'll just make it into I'll just follow the pattern exactly to the size it to calls the size for. it calls for and it'll probably make a nice little car seat size blanket. size blanket and I have on one of the stitch markers that my husband made that went with the Christmas. 12 days of Christmas this past year. And I have each of my sections um, marked with these little hexagon, each pattern repeat with the little hexagon mm -hmm. um, metal stitch markers. Yeah. I love it. Um, yeah, so we have several ladies in our Bible study, <clears throat> Monday morning Bible study, that are expecting babies. Mm -hmm. And I have quite a bit of the Karen Cake stuff around. Yeah. You know, one of the the one mom, they're not going to find out what gender the baby is. So I thought this would be really pretty, be nice gender neutral. Yeah. Um, Good to have options. Yeah, I like to have a stack of, of baby blankets handy. Mm -hmm. 
and I have one that's spoken for from my crocheted around the edge. Um, yeah. It's going to be sent to a friend up by Dallas. And that leaves me one other one, so I kind of want to have a couple more on hand, on hand are you for gift giving. Are you planning on doing any more of the crochet around with the flannel? I will, yes. Some I will do year, I will do point. more of those at some point this year because they are so much fun to do. And I'll do and a tutorial. Easy to gift because they're easy to care for. They are very easy to care for. So I will do a tutorial on how I um, punch the holes and yeah. go around with the... Um, Crochet thread. Yes, thank you. I was blanking on yep. that. So that's okay. all that I have on my needles. I have one more thing. One more I thing. promise I'll go quick because you heard about the beautiful yarn earlier. It is my Dead Marsha socks by Holly Press Fibers. The little um, color work that I did there. I love those. Which, yep, I'm I really really those. enjoying them. But I didn't put a stitch on them because I was trying to get the. <laughs> that's you. Sorry. Because I was trying to get the. <laughs> club socks knit on. So these are my little treats so that I'll have these. Now do you have on. more of the purple or did I use all of the purple? Um, I have the little, here's the orange. Okay. And then here's That's the all the purple. purple we have left. Yep. So a 20 gram mini went pretty far. It did. Yeah, so it I did. don't know if I'm going to do the little like bars of yellow like the window kind of orange color tube. work at the top of the sock with the Dead Marsh News colorway, or if I'm gonna to try to incorporate the purple any bit, if I'm just gonna do mini little stripes. Ooh, that would be cute. I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish off the top of the socks on these, but I know the heel will be done with have time to the main color. The main color. It'll develop as the socks develop. There you go. That's the fun so. of doing it. You can add what you want when you want, and she's still using a Halloween bag. I know. <laughs> I. I need to go through all of my notion tins today and tidy them up and find my cute stitch markers yeah. and just yep. enjoy getting things set up and organized. Mm -hmm. I bought Snow Forest by KF Jones because I saw someone else on Instagram knitting this pattern with a sock set from Yarnbury that I have in my stash and I thought, ooh, I want to do that too. So yeah. you see, between that and the midwinter sock set, that is things that I've purchased. Rachel gifted me for Christmas besides the Holly Press Fiber three month three month club yarn. Persuasion? Was it Persuasion? Persuasion, yeah. What is the club name? Mm -hmm. She gifted me 52 weeks of socks in paperback yep. and I am loving it. One technique that I am going to, a new technique that I'm going to try is I want to knit this first pattern in here. Is it for week one or are it's, they divided by weeks? I kind of looked through but it's been a while. Yeah, it's it's 52 sock patterns. 52 sock there. patterns, yeah. I'm going to find the first one because it teaches you how to do toe up with a gusset mm -hmm. and that is one thing that I've been wanting to learn how to do it's this one this one right here it's got such pretty texture on it mm -hmm. so I think I'm going to use this pattern for one of this Holly Press skeins and learn a new technique awesome. and then my other daughter got me two skeins of opal yarn for Christmas I didn't bring them in to show but because they're already in my stash but they're so pretty so okay my owl post was again Christmas gifts mm -hmm. so I got 50 gram skeins from Hugh Loco Hugh Loco this one's in the candied colorway on the mm -hmm. Phyllis sock. Yes. I love those speckles in that. It's so pretty. And then this one, which makes me think very much of Valentine's Day. Ooh, yeah. And just kind of like candy is Squad Goals. Which is kind of funny because the other one's called Candy, but I'm thinking of this <laughs> one as, you know, like the food dye kind of yeah. fun. Yep. And this one is her Merino sock base. So. I didn't get them on the same base. No, but that's okay. So this one's like your 4 ply, 75, 25. 25, and this one's your 80, 22 ply. Oh, okay. So both bases I've had experience yeah. 
with before. Not by that dyer, but you know how you can tell the bases are mm -hmm. similar throughout. Mm -hmm. and I so, do like a good 80-20. Yeah. With that high twist. Mm -hmm. I do really like that base. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have any yarn in your stash that, other than what you've said, that's going to be like, specifically, I want to use that this year? Oh, yeah. I've got a whole basket. Everything that calls to you. Yeah, everything that calls to me. I've got a whole basket of, well, I mean, it's a little basket. Yeah. I think That I holds have... like 10 skeins, right? No, less than that. Less than that. This but... that Holly Press it's Yarn, like things you want in it. Knit next. Yeah, things I want in it next. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's. I'm enjoying what I have now, and I want to make pro more progress on your dad's sweater when mm -hmm. I feel like it, and this baby blanket, and yeah. yeah I mean, there's. Um, yeah. I want to knit, I feel like I want to knit up all my Hobbit themed yarn in my stash. Ooh. There are not a lot. There are. The one from Holly Press, which is a Merrier mm -hmm. World. I believe that's the one that I have in there. And then I have, what's it called? Let me see. I know what it looks like, but I can't remember what it's called. It's from Mustache oh, Yarns. Oh, Mustache Yarns. Yeah. And this one is... There and Back. There and Back. The Journey to the Middle Earth. Yeah. So yeah. those are the two that I might like specifically want to actually Knit. get done this year. Yeah. Just for fun because I'm the Dead Marshes is a Hobbit reference of mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings. So I'm kind of like, it'd be fun to have all three knit, knit up. up. Mm -hmm. Because that specifically be. the mustache self-striping one, I bought this a while back. I yeah, showed it did. on the podcast when I bought it, so if you, you remember. Yeah. Uh, and but yeah. I've been meaning to knit it for a long time and it has not happened, so yep. that yeah. might be a goal. And then some Opal Regia because I'm my shelf literally can't fit more, so I'd like to <laughs> free up some space. I had to put my the ones yeah. that Rebecca gave me for Christmas mm -hmm. on the same shelf as my indie dyed self striping yeah. because I couldn't fit any more in the other bins that yeah. I have, so. And I'd like to knit a pair or a couple pairs of DK socks. Yes. I, yes. Again, if you remember, that was another kind of like, well, that didn't work out the way I expected. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. the sizing wrong. I tried mm -hmm. it two different ways. But again, I'll go back and watch yeah. the episode to remember what I said I need to do differently. But I do have a pair of, um, I think it's Opal 8 ply, mm -hmm. 6 ply or 8 ply that your dad started. That you might use. That I might just finish those off. Okay. Makes sense. I might just finish them off because he's not going to knit yeah. the socks. He's he's too busy with his chickens and his garden and working overtime. Yeah. So Different hobbies for different people. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. working on vehicles. So yeah, I might just get those out and finish yeah. those. Those would be a quick knit. Yeah. And I could gift them to him for whatever. Exactly. Anniversary. Mm-hmm. That's in March. I could get that done by March. It could, yeah. Ooh, I could finish his Christmas sweater for our anniversary. <laughs> that would work. That's going to be my new goal. Okay. And if life happens, then we just reassess and reevaluate. But yeah. Okay, you heard, you heard it here. Them. You heard it here. By March 12th, I will have that sweater done. Awesome. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sitting and watching with us. And sticking with us. Yeah. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Have a great um, rest January. of January, and we'll see you soon.